<clears throat> hey guys, Kira from Yanomize. Welcome back to another lesson. I've lost cows. I don't know what lesson this is now. Well, I think everyone's lost cows. Back with <laughs> my boy Arif. I'm Arif from Get Licensed Driving School, as you well know by now. And what we're going to do today, Kira, again, I want to introduce to you sat nav driving. So yeah. you can obviously have a little chat about it before we do it. Yeah. And I also want to have a little chat about um, road signs with you. See what you know, what you don't know, where to react. Because they help you a lot on the road. All right. So just before it starts raining, let's get going. Yeah, in here. I don't want it to rain. <laughs> oh no, nice lesson. Just a quick recap on last lesson. What yeah. did we do in the last lesson? We drove to Chisholm. Yeah, we sort of done quite large roundabouts school carriageway driving. Yeah. How did you feel? Uh, just, just, just that Chisholm one scares me. Like, oh, everyone, everyone, <laughs> all my friends say, oh yeah, this is the worst roundabout. Yeah, it, it is very busy. You've got to time it right. Especially when you're coming from the way we the other way everyone says that's because the because the speed that we were approaching and other traffic approaches just a few feet are you comfortable now yeah. well, it's a bit, my foot's a bit slippery today it's leading up to christmas mate week before christmas the roads are they're most Easy. dangerous people are rushing to yeah. get their deliveries hurrying to do their shopping we have to be that extra careful okay raining, uh, obviously it's raining so you know where your wipers are and everything so yeah, yeah feel free to use them don't expect me to tell you or use them when you need them right we, when we're driving on the road signs help us a lot yeah yeah and we need to know them see them and identify them or we'll know what they mean like obviously so when you approach a junction you might get a solid white stop line yeah what does that mean Oh, uh, what a straight line. Yeah, a solid there. line, like that one there. To stop. Yeah, it means stop. Whether you can, you know, you can, you can see it's clear or whatever, yeah. you must stop there, yeah? Yeah. But also, the shapes of signs also tell us, you know, or give us directions and help us. Like triangular signs, what do they, as soon as you see a triangular sign, what is that implying? What is the triangular mm -hmm. sign? Good. So it's warning you of something, potential hazard ahead. Yeah. And what about red circular signs? Red circular signs are telling you what you must not do. Prohibitory signs, yeah? Yeah. Telling you not to overtake, not to break, go over the identified speed limit. And blue circular signs are? Um, telling you they're mandatory. They're telling you what you must you do. Yeah. yeah. And you red right? is warned. Red is? Red prohibitory is telling you what you, you must can't, not do. Can't you? Okay. You've got yeah. to see these signs, identify what they mean and take the correct action. Yeah. Right, what I'm going to do here now, let me see. I want to set the set now. In regards to the set now, it's there to help you. It's only a guidance, yeah? yeah? All right, once we put it on, the blue line there is indicating your direction that you need to follow. Go on, Kira. Yes, I do. That's right. Now, what happens also, your speed means it becomes a sat nav as well. It's obviously there, like I said, as a guidance. You can't see the road, you can't see hazards. Yeah. All right, try and listen to it. And if you do want to have a look at it, a very quick glance, keep your eyes on the road, okay? All right. Right, as from now, I'd like you to follow the sat nav. If it takes you off route, I'll put you back on route, okay? A lot of uh, cars have got tinted windows, so you really can't see sometimes the driver to get eye contact, so just watch your dear speed. After 90 yards, cross the roundabout, second Is that loud exit. enough for you? Yeah, you can turn it down Cross the roundabout, second exit. Also, when we approach uh, pedestrian crossings, we have those zigzags. Do you know what they mean? Well, no overtaking. Good. And also, no overtaking the vehicle leading up to the crossing. All right. Yeah. No parking. Oh, that was a bit close there. Scared. You dealt with it. I didn't feel uncomfortable. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout. Second exit. Middleton Avenue. Go right on the roundabout, second exit.
Good. When we come up to pedestrian crosses, what should we do? Slow down. Check your mirror, cover the brake, yeah? And check both sides because you might not need to slow down. So you check your mirror, cover the brake, check both sides of the crossing. Okay. Yeah. Now what that man just did, was that right? Yeah, well, not really, you, put, you just pulled out, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Did yeah. you anticipate he might do that? Yeah, because when I saw the car turn in, I knew straight away. Okay. Always try to anticipate what they might do, then you're halfway there to dealing with it, especially with the roads being a bit wet as well. Yeah? It's right, once you know it, yeah, it's right driving, isn't it? Once you know it, it becomes embedded in your brain and it becomes, you do it sort of subconsciously. Yeah, once you do it, it's there for life. I told you on the first lesson. But it's just keeping that standard, constant standard of safe driving. Yeah. You know, we don't want to get too overconfident because everybody, when they get behind the wheel, they think, oh, you know, once they're behind the wheel, I'm the best driver yeah, around, you know. <laughs> After yeah. 200 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit, Cutterhead Lane. So what are you going to do over Christmas? Relax or? Yeah, party in, innit? That's what you're only at once. Yeah. Relax, party, relax, party. Relax. Eat, drink. Yeah, no sleep. And then you come back to work knackered again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting another holiday. That's a good break that you get, you know. What, the 24th? Right, to what? the 6th. Yeah, That's two, good. 13 days. That's a good break. That's like a school break. We was meant to come back on the second, but then there was no point coming back just for two days and then having the weekend off. Cause that's the second very good. is that's Thursday, very good. Thursday, isn't it? Then you'll put coming back Thursday, Friday, and then oh, before just what I said, I oh, just had Thursday, Friday off, and Saturday, Sunday off as well, and then come back fresh week Monday, ready for another big year. No matter how slight you break, check yeah. your mirrors because everybody's driving very close to each other. Yeah. You might know what's behind you, but you don't know how close he is. Yeah. Cross the roundabout, second exit, Potterhead Lane, then, after 250 yards, turn left, A10, Great Cambridge Road. Everyone always loves to cut in here, innit? Who I does? All the time yeah, the they do, yeah. They try not to get too close to the vehicle in front. Just to make you happy. Good, well done, I'm happy. After 80 yards, turn left, A10, Great Cambridge Road. Keep clear. Good boy. Uh, the camera, is the camera on this one or that one? That one, isn't it? That one there. Apparently, you know that one there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Was that the second, yellow box there? The yellow box. Yeah. That was that the. No, this one or the one that stand there by Bulls Lane was the second like most. Where people get fired. Yeah, most. Yeah. Apparently, I think it was like 2017. They made like 500 grand. You can mm. Turn left. A10, Great Cambridge Road. Do I have to stop here? Will you tell me? No, not really. What's the giveaway lines mean? Giveaway, innit? Yeah, so what would be the answer to your question? Yeah. If it's safe, we can proceed, yeah? Yeah. Kieran? Yeah. Yo. Think about it. About what? About what you're not thinking about. That's better. A little bit late into that, weren't we? Yeah, because it was all right. The road went as high. So I looked down. The car wanted to pull. Come on, a little bit more gas. Do you, do you apply the uh, two-second rule? No, not really. I found that. Mm, try and apply it. Yeah, it That's does help. What should that stand for? It's one, two, three. Look, I'm like ten seconds behind. Four ten seconds, seconds in wet weather. Yeah. Yeah. And ten, ten seconds. seconds yeah. I just come from test again. Yeah, today? Yeah, just that before your lesson. Yeah, they passed. Yeah. 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 So after the test you never see him again. 
Well, what do I want to do with her? I've done my job. No, they do send me customers or to keep in touch now. They, they text me. Yeah? Yeah, this guy, he passed on his second one today. Second one? Yeah. So once, so every month, obviously every month you get new students. Well, yeah, it would do sometimes every week, a few weeks. Yeah. Sometimes none for a few weeks and then all... Do you, do you hate it though when you have to teach them from the beginning because they don't know? No, I, 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 li it. I like it, the fact because they don't know any better, so they all, they'll only do what I tell them, whereas if they've got a little bit of previous experience, yeah. yeah and that they've means. learned maybe incorrectly, they'll try. It's hard to break their habits a little bit, you know? They just frustrate you. No, because I know at the end, the end result, what it's going to be. But it, it does sometimes when you constantly tell them. It's like what you can only tell someone, you can't make them do it. Yeah. In it, Kieran. In it, that me. Oh, if you tell someone they keep forgetting, you can only just keep telling them. Turn right, A1025, Baltimore Lane. But the satisfaction is when they go for the test and they come back with a smile. What's the colour of the carburetor? Grey, white. Turn right, A1025, Baltimore Lane. Now be aware of this carburetor, he is a bit close. Now think about the lights and being able to stop if they change. Check your mirrors, please. So I got it. I just make sure we beat the light in there. Yeah, you don't want to beat the light as if it's not safe. Because if you speed up and the car behind you does the same, yeah. and then the lights change. Well, you better be ready, innit, to break. Well, we want to be ready as well. We don't want to leave our safety in his check your mirror here. He scared me, but he kept we still pulling out quite fast. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah, I know, but I thought, you know what, yeah, I'm not going to hold back in it. You can almost tell the traffic is a little bit more hurried. Yeah, everyone's in a rush. A little bit more faster, people pulling out. Now look at this guy behind yeah, you. Yeah, I saw see. that. He was the one that tried to... He will try and overtake you, so be careful. Don't be influenced by him. Don't be intimidated. I ain't intimidated. Yeah, don't, intimidated yeah. by him. Yeah, don't go over the speed limit because of him, yeah? All right, be yeah. aware of him. Keep to your speed limit, mate. Thank you. You can tell from the driver, can't you? Yeah, he's leaning to the side, driving with one yeah. arm. And he's with his friend. Did you check the bus there if we could use it? Yeah, you can't. Good. Monday to Saturday. Good. I think it was 8 to 8. Can we get into the left hand lane once the bus leaves for you? See there, that's good what you're doing. You're checking before you move in. All right, so basically you're not moving in as you're checking. You're yeah. checking, making sure it's clear, and then you're moving. Have I just blocked this? Yeah. Well, it's basically wrong. there's nothing you can do about this. It's, it's only a drive. We could have kept it clear, but you know, it's not long. In this sense. Right, clutch down. Yeah, I saw that. Think about the gears, Kieran. I was in gear too, see yeah. Take your once, time. once you said that, yeah, then I forgot about before. <laughs> so it's my fault, is it? It's not your fault, you it's just I'm, the, too, I'm too busy talking. And, you know when we change direction, yeah. very slightly, the indicators might not cancel, so you might have to do it manually. Oh, so I was ticking from all the way back there? Well, once you got in here, yeah. Well, I look like a prick then. Well, you just said it. <laughs> So whenever you do something wrong, it's my fault, is it? No, that one there, you know what it is? When I do something wrong, yeah. Yeah. But it's that, we all it, do it. it all goes out No, the it doesn't. You know, just because you do something wrong, don't mean you're going to carry on doing it wrong. For me, it does. I do something wrong sometimes and fix it and get on with it. Curse myself for doing it, but try not to repeat it. See, they've done something wrong, look. But see, this key is reversing. Yeah, yeah because he's, not... he's entered the junction where it wasn't clear to turn. Back now. What can we do here now? Okay. Yeah. Get your first gear, and then the last thing you do is handbrake down, don't release it first. Yeah, the test center. Right, you see here? Yeah. Now, when it goes to green, do you think you should continue? No, because they're blocking the green. Right, they're blocking it, aren't they? That's the yellow box, so they shouldn't really be in there. Well, hopefully, there's a camera there. Yeah, look, this guy's going to get done in it, I know. Do you reckon he'll get done? Oh, if he How does it work? See, if their light goes red and they're I in think the they box, give you a sort of certain amount of time to move out. Yeah, I heard it. if you're still rolling, the bus is in the way now, 
If you're still rolling... All right, don't go, please. Don't go. Well, I'm not even there. So go around him. Well, have a look at what you're going to do. Think about... Don't do it, Kieran, please. Just stay. Okay. Keep to your left. Now, you're telling me, shall I go around him? Yeah. You're at a stage now where you should be able to assess that. I was going to go around him, but I didn't know if you wanted me to... Well, if it's safe and you signalled and you came, but if you're in doubt, don't do it, mate. You only wait there another few minutes. Because yeah, in know, this industrial to... area, what have you got a lot of HGVs, large vehicles? Definitely got to think about them, mate. And if they smack into the <clears> side <throat> of you, that's it, mate. You're done. Well, Big boy lorry. Not. Naughty boys. the roundabout first exit 81055 Morrison Avenue. Right, can I just correct you on this? I like you to turn right second exit please. Right. Yeah, turn right second exit. Thank you. Cross the roundabout. We're doing a first right second exit. exit please. Then right. after 600 yards, turn right. Okay, thank you, and that's the end of the independent drive. Okay, thank you. Wasn't hard, was it? Uh, right, again, now look for the signs. Let's see if we can notice some signs now. Yeah, he's last time me off here, and I didn't forget, 20 miles an hour. And I so you see the red four. circular sign? Yeah. It's prohibiting you from going over 20. You see the triangular sign? Yeah, exactly. Warning. Yeah. Blue one. Children. Okay, and cyclists. At the roundabout, we're going to turn left first exit, please. At the next set of traffic lights, turn right, please. You see the road markings on the road? Those yeah. hedge, do you know what they mean? Which one? These here? These hatch markings, yeah. No. Check your right now. They're obviously, they're called chevrons, okay? Yeah. All right, they're there to separate traffic and also to protect traffic turning right, okay? So if you're doing a right turn, you may enter those. If the edges are continuous, yeah. then you don't enter them. But where the edges are broken, you may enter them. If the edges are, so they end? The where the edges are continuous. Yeah. That one we broken. Yeah, so, so you can okay. enter to do a right turn. Traffic lights turn right, please. So it ain't right turn only. Hold it. Probably here he is. Think about it, Kieran. Okay. Right. You left your second gear a little bit late there, sir. Yeah, I know, dude. I yeah. thought I could make please, it. Please, no. I, I, could make it. I thought I could make it. No, third. we turn. We can turn. We don't want to turn in third. I'm going to get the right gear, right speed. So therefore, because you can change your gear late, yeah. you couldn't come off the clutch. So you're sort of posted around there. Correct speed, correct gear before the turn, please. What's further ahead, Kieran? Um, contact. Level crossing, yeah. Good. Why did that gear just pull out like that? Run up and ask him. What, what, just to get in front, but it says keep clear, idiot. Oi, calm down, buddy. Now, okay, after I uh, almost lost it, how? Nice and that, you know, when I forgot to, it was in gear three? Yeah. Yeah, then that's when I lose my patience. Right, when we come up to a level crossing, they could go down at any time, okay? Yeah. Basically, wait for the car in front to clear the level crossing. Yeah. Make sure you've got plenty of room for your own vehicle to clear the level crossing before you enter it, please, okay? Because sometimes the barriers come down just as quick as they've gone up. Make yeah. sure this car has cleared it. If I cross it. Please make sure it's clear. Okay. Yeah? You decide. Can we clear yeah. it? Of course you can clear it. No. You see, Kieran? 
All right, I'm going to ease over now. now. That is a very dangerous mistake you've done there. No, it's not. No, I well, you, you'll be now, fine. Hold on. Look, not gone down? Perfect. Yeah, but we're lucky it didn't go. Why take that risk? Yeah, if you weren't sure there, you should have let that car clear it a lot more, mate. All right. Okay. Yes, Kieran? Yes. Thank you. You decide now, you yeah, make your decisions. And check your left rear when you're coming back in. If you need to signal to let the other vehicle know, you do. Traffic lights turn left, please. I mean, I'm only putting the handbrake up just for you, Eric. So when you get your car, you won't be doing it then, will you? I don't think so, no. Why won't you be doing it? It's only for like 20 seconds, isn't it? And then 20 seconds go quick. It's the safety aspect, isn't it? We're turning left at the lights, please. Slightly early there on the signal. Yeah, don't say left turn, but it's green. The car went far behind, so I stopped. Okay, good reaction there. The good thing I loved about that was I the... I could have gone. You checked your mirrors. I could have gone, do you know what I mean? So, what does that amber mean? Like, like, uh, We've spoken about stop. this before. Pardon? Don't slow down. Right, what does amber... What, what comes after amber? Uh... Red. Right, so we know that amber means stop. Yeah. yeah. The stop line. Yeah. But it also says if you're so close to it yeah. that to stop might gonna, cause an accident. I guarantee you're going to push it. Listen to me, please. Yeah. yeah. If you're so close to it that to stop might cause an accident, yeah. you may proceed. Yeah. Or if you've gone past the line once the amber appears, you may proceed. But there, as soon as you saw the amber light, yeah. Previous lessons, you might have accelerated to go past it. Yeah, I was going to, but I thought, you know what? But I today, to... you've done absolutely brilliant. You checked your mirror and you felt that you could stop, and you stopped. Well done. I literally was just about to uh, if you, go, and I thought, you see nah. the filter light? Make sure. You've done the right thing there, Kieran. So it shows me that your thinking in regards to has changed. I didn't see, when did that filter light come on? Huh? When did that filter light come on? Well, just as I told you. Yeah? I'm surprised the car behind me beat. If it did, yeah, I would have panicked. You would have panicked? You panic. know, it would have been beeping at you. Well, because he's behind me, isn't it? <laughs> so when someone just gives you a short beep, that's yeah. just to make you aware. When it's continuing, like beep, that's sort of aggressive, isn't it? Yeah. So the guy might just beat you just to alert you. He's not being aggressive to you. Right, can you please stop parallel to the white car, the BM? Or behind it? Parallel to it, next to it, please. Next, next to it. it, please. Parallel to it. A little bit more. A little bit more. Go past them a little bit. Check your mirrors when you're stopping. Right, can you please parallel park the vehicle? Right, the other thing, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but I'm just going to give you one little straight, please. Yeah. Stop, please. Just think about the road that you're doing it in. Uh, is it uphill, downhill? Is yeah, it there's a car behind me. Is it going to roll back? Do I need gas? Now, what lights can you see? What lights? Yeah. Once we get reverse gear, what kind of lights appear? Oh, why? Yeah, so that was your signal, babe. Carry on. Am I going to hit that front bit? I feel like I'm going to hit it. Yeah? Well, if I do, you'll stop me anyway. Kieran, yeah. you're braking and using... That's why the car's making that noise. 
Ah, I don't shut it again. I don't like that one. Hold on, let's finish this one. I want to finish it. Can you please finish it, Kieran? They're so far out as well. Okay, come back a bit until you go in that room. Lock him behind you, please. Lock him behind you. Thank you. Okay, behind thank you. you. Yeah, when we are reverse, we'd up your eyes. Wheel straight, please. Stop here. Wheel straight, please, Kieran. Thank you. Right, you've got enough room to pull out here. Handbrake, so cute. Right. <laughs> now, when the back of the car's there with the back of his car, how many times did we steer that? All the way. Once, isn't it? We steered full lock. Oh, I thought it was full lock. Oh, no, once, and then right. full lock the other way. Yes, no. yeah. So, we, back of the car, then we went front and back. We look over the right shoulder, one turn. When do we steer right? When the handle... Your handle touches the curb, yeah? Yeah. How many times do we steer to the right? Full lock. Two times, isn't it? I thought, I thought it was full lock. Two, yeah? All right. Yeah. yeah. And then once we're straight... You know, when I was full lock in the first half, I think, this is not, this don't look the same as I uh, last yeah, time. So you steer too far. I was waiting for you to say. All right, you steered a little bit too early. So you were... There was a problem with the front of the car getting very close to that. Yeah. As you're aware, the sensors went off. Yeah. yeah? It wasn't that close, whereas I had to intervene, but you shouldn't be that close anyway. The other thing is also the road here is dipping down, isn't it? A bit. Yeah, so what you should do there is keep the clutch there and just use the brake because the car's going to roll back naturally, isn't it? Yeah. And you just see at one point it was. Boom, 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 yeah, why did you have to Because you had your foot on the brake and you're bringing the clutch up. Hmm. So if you just kept the clutch down and let the car roll back and use your brake there. And also the other thing, a few glances around you. Pause, check, please. Yeah. I mean, had that been your test, maybe you would have got sort of a mark for a control, a one mark for observation, because of the fact your observation around the vehicle wasn't that great. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of have you parked the vehicle, you have. Yeah. Yeah, so on the test, you would have passed that, but yeah. maybe with a Reckon. minor faults. Okay, well, I'd like you to do that once that's more. That's a pass. Please. Yeah. Did you hit the curve? No, but that just felt so call, wrong. Right, did you hit the curb? No. Nope. Did you cause anybody a problem? Well, there was no one around. Right, is it reasonably accurate? Kind of. Right, so it's, it's okay. But we want to obviously make it a lot better. Do you want to drive back to the unit after this, yeah? Why? No, you can drive. Why? My leg is tired. Don't be silly. Let's park. Have your right shoulder, come on. You should know all this by now. Keep it very slow. Go forward and straighten the car, please. Go forward. Correct the car. Okay, right. Stage one. Do it on your own, yeah? This, this car don't look straight, but... Yeah, it's slightly off. Stage one, just get the back in line of there, but that. Yeah, and then? And then, full lock, the one, one turn. Just good. But look around. Okay. Doesn't have to be continuous. Until the front door handle hits the kerb. Touches the kerb, yeah? And then tell me. Yeah? Yep. Right and then there. quickly. Too late, you've One. steered too late. Yeah? Too late. Carry too late. on. When you say when you say two turns, yeah? Yeah. Um is we that we steer two turns yeah. from the from where it is or yeah, two straight turns, and then two turns again? Two turns from where it is. So basically one turn the other way. Yeah, so because because it, the wheel was straight. Now have a look at your left mirror and yeah. if it's near what we're gonna do. Steer quick. Good, carry on. Yeah, you just went past the point. But the thing is in my from my view here, yeah, it don't even look like um the handles touched the curve. Okay, what's gonna happen in here? Gonna, gonna go fast and get him in. And what are you gonna do here now? Good. So you got that right. And come back, yeah. Okay, just look at the curb, keep it nice and straight. Kieran, you know, when we part, some like, can we go now for him to pull out here? Yes, plenty of room. Okay. Right, Kieran, the door handle went past it, you corrected it. Yeah. And if I look at that, I'm going to look at a little one, isn't it? For the distance from the curb in relation to the curb, yeah. So what door handle hits the curb there? This one. 
Yeah, in a big mirror. Yeah, so in, in the small in one. In a big mirror. I can't see, th- I can't see in the big one. Oh, then it, you can adjust it. Yeah, adjust your mirror. So I've got to adjust it just for parking? Yeah, if you have to. But say if I'm parking on the main road, I'm going to be holding up everyone up. Do you know what I mean? Adjusting. Basically. Down. But by the... In a test there, do they park to park on a side road? Or can it be anywhere? Anywhere. Well, we're in parallel park. Yeah. It's normally on a road like this, which is relatively busy. Busy? Well, it's relatively busy. It can be quite all, all What do you mean busy? As in, like, loads of cars No, no not on the main road. They won't get you to do it on the main road. Can I, can I say, like, if they tell you to do it, like, like a main road and you can park in it, what, I'm going to pull up next to a car, put it in reverse, jump in there, I'll, I'll bottle it. Why? Because, can you, can you in the moment, like, the examiner, like, I'll be bottling it. I'm telling you now, I'll but be bottling it as if the examiner is there. He won't be I don't know the guy, main, so like, main road. Yeah. Like, this road, all of a sudden, you could have no one coming towards you. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it could be busy, you know. But then you, you take your time. Yeah, everybody can see that you're reversing. You'll be aware of the other drivers. Yeah. And normally, if it's very busy, they might hold back and let you do it. So, on the next one, I'm going to get you to do it where it's a little bit, maybe a little bit more cars, where you might have to just get yourself comfortable with cars being around you. Yeah, because that's the only thing, though. Like, Let's go. Back to the unit? Yeah. But he's still, he's still rolling back. Well, why are you getting your biting point? And also there, yeah, what about the right shoulder? Lovely steering there, Kieran. Is that, is that legal? Well, you haven't lost, like, look, again, well, you haven't lost control of the car, yeah, but yeah. we don't teach it. So, so what, is, is it, is it, um... Now, if you were to do that on your test, yeah. yeah, because you haven't lost control of the car... What way is it here? Turn left, please. Because you haven't lost control of the car, he wouldn't yeah. say anything to you, but then again, if anything develops and you need to steer a lot more or in a different way, then you're going to get stuck because you're doing it with one hand. There's only a limited, uh, limited amount of turns you can do with that. Yeah. I have a Ferrari. Okay. Select the safe place. I don't know why, when I pull, pull in here, yeah, it always seems to be that fast. If it's fast? Yeah, like sometimes I always do it fast. No, that was perfect, this one. I was just about to tell you that, actually. What? Normally I pull it in here yeah, fast. fast. Yeah, normally I do. I don't know why, though. I don't know I how, don't I, maybe how I get to it. it. Yeah, well, how, how does a oh, car pick up the speed? Car and it's a car pick up speed, you accelerate, don't you? So, we're back from the lesson. Well, what do you think, Aaron? What do you feel? How did you feel? I felt all right, yeah, until that bit. You know, when I had it in gear three and then I tried to take off. Like I said to you, you know, know, like I told you, it just went out of my head. Right, so but as we're driving, the yeah. mistakes are getting a lot less. And they, you're a lot more confident. Yeah. Yeah, all right. We done sat nav today. How did you feel about that? Yeah, that was all right. Yeah, and like you said to me, the more you're doing it, the more you're doing it. I think it's better because I can see on the screen where we're going. Yeah. Where before you just say, all right, okay, you need to turn right here, just like quick. I've got a... And also, what you said to me today was that the, the more you're sort of driving a lot better, the more you like it. Yeah. That's how it becomes, you become second nature. Yeah. It's just basically maintaining it, constant sort of safe driving, yeah. anticipation, you're in your way. See you next lesson. <laughs>